Right up again there. Wow. Well, Jim, it's your turn next. <laughs> I hope I do as well as you did, Skeeter. Ah, uh, you're kidding me again. You're always kidding. No, I'm not. I'm serious. What's that? Is it all right, White? Yeah, okay. All right, it's all set. How's that saddle? Take a deep seat on him there now, partner. <laughs> all right, Skeeter. Okay. All right, open that gate. Come on, that boy, let's see what you can do. He's a good rider. He ain't got no place on that horse. That's enough. Take him off. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get that job. That was a good ride. Oh, thanks, miss. But I guess you got boys that can do better, huh? <laughs> You're both hired. Oh, thanks, boss. Thank you. Alan, will you take the boys over to the house and sign them up? You know, my daughter tends to the business end of the show. Oh. Thanks, boss. Thank you. <laughs> oh, step in. Sir, Jim, turn around. I want you to take that mule over and get a new shoe put on. Yeah, but John, you know, I don't know how to handle that old mule, and he ain't gonna act right. Oh, just give him his head. His head? Yes, his head. He'll go over there, all right? I don't fool me, look like he's trying to hurt somebody or something. I don't know. Uh, how long before you have the show? Here? Oh, about an hour and a half. Hour and a half? Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah. 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 How do you know I can't handle my liquor? Oh, everybody knows that. Do they? Sure. You're kidding me again. Oh, no, I'm serious. If you want to keep busy, why don't you go up in the hills and catch wild horses for the show? Some of the boys make good money at it. Well, I tried that wild horse trap once. I didn't have much luck at it. Them mustangs are too smart for me. But Jim here, he can catch them. Alice, uh, will you phone the doctor to come right over? A man's been hurt. Who was it? One of the new hands that went horse trapping. Oh, dear, how did it happen? Well, the boys say the devil did it. Mm, I'm not surprised. The devil? You mean a real two-legged devil? No, a horse. But well, he's devil enough. The doctor's coming right over, Dad. Let's go and see how the boy is. Hey, boys, let's get a break now. Go back and see if we can catch that wild devil. Right. Pardon me, miss. But who is this devil? Oh, he's a wild Palomino horse. The boys call him devil because he has a split hook. They've been trying to catch him for two seasons. Nobody ever got a rope on him. Well, poor Tom did. They all snaggled up in it. The marks of the split hoof showed us the horse had done it, too. As soon as we get a fresh mount and rest up a little, we're going to take our rifles and go back and get that wild devil. Well, why blame the horse? He didn't know he was doing wrong. He was only trying to keep from being caught. Oh, you shouldn't kill him. Well, we ought to tell him to settle accounts of that devil. Dad, don't let him kill the horse. 
Come to think of it, he'd be worth more alive than he is dead. We never did have a man killing a horse with a rodeo. He'd be worth a thousand dollars to the show. You mean you'll give a thousand dollars for that horse? Cash on delivery. We'll bring him in. Huh, Skeeter? <laughs> yeah, you bring him sure. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, cowboy, I'd advise you boys to stay right here and practice. Because by the time you get through practicing, I'll have that devil caught. <laughs> what riding academy does he belong to? Why, that's Gil Davis. Surely you've heard of him. What's his hobby? Horses. That's what I thought. Why, he's a world champion bucking horse rider. Well, as long as we got a champion to beat, I guess we better get that thousand. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do up with you. Daddy. Huh? Was he kidding me? Hey, Skeeter. Yeah? You know that stallion we saw in that pasture on our way up here? Yeah. Well, as you go by, let your rope drag. No. What do you want that horse for? I got an idea. You get some of the funniest ideas. You know, I found a rope one time with a horse on the end of it, and I like to get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, you didn't have me around to protect you. Oh, come on, old oh, man. Stop acting a fool. I told you, I told why did you come over here? I told that girl you wasn't going to act right. I'm going to give you your head, your head and no hip. You know. Why did you act right? And come on here now. Come on now. Don't act like Come on, old boy. Come on now. Why don't you come on? Hey, you. Oh, I'm gone. I don't know. I told that so much. You just always want somebody to beg you to be here. Why don't you come on here? All that John I know. What does that fellow tell us about? Well, I better get that pack off, Skeeter. What does it look like in there? Oh, boys, he's a pallet. Ah, you're kidding me again. <laughs> no, it'll be all right if it don't rain. Howdy, strangers. Howdy. 
What are you boys doing here? Mind their own business? What's your name? My name's Jim Wright. This is my partner, Skeeter Bell. Glad to meet you. Howdy. Where'd you get that stallion? Barred him. Who from? Colonel Hall. Say, what do you want to know for, anyway? Oh. What are you going to do with him? Oh, you see, we're going to catch that man killing the devil horse. How are you going to do it? We got an idea of our own. Colonel uh, Hall offered $1,000 for anyone that'd bring him in. $1,000? That's a lot of money for this country. <laughs> That's a lot of money for any country. Well, we'll be seeing you. Just a minute. I'm trailing a short, dark-haired man named of Hank Howard. If you see him, get... What did he do? Robbed a bank. Oh, is that all? That's enough, ain't it? Yeah. Well, if we see him, we'll tell him you're looking for him. So long. Goodbye. his looks, anyhow.
after a while. You know, Jim, I believe he's about half sorry to us. Yeah. Say, Skeeter, you go ahead and get the grub. I'll put the horses up. Now, don't you ride him before I get through. Oh, you're always kidding. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Can you imagine the nerve of that guy trying to steal our thousand dollar horse? Well, oh, and I can imagine his surprise when you smeared that loop on him. <laughs> he sure hits the ground like a wet saddle blanket. Hey, Skeer, come over here and give me a lift, will you? You wasn't so lazy to take them spurs off. Oh, I never take them off. Right. I've got to get this rhinoceros to cook in here. I expect that part of my lesson, though. Look pretty sound when he got up. Me? I'd have broke his neck. I don't want to hold a grudge. After all, we're the ones that got the horse. Finish your cooking, I'll get them. Hmm. That rope ain't been broke. down here and take a look at this cabin. What do you mean? When Jim gets here, you'll find out what I mean. Come on. Ankle out of here. Get him up there, you horse thief. You got a gun?
Howdy, Chef. Howdy. Fine morning. Yeah. Well, if you ain't got manners enough to ask me to light and eat, I'm hungry enough to do my own inviting. Say, you been anywhere around here lately? No, I just came over from the valley. Too bad you wasn't. Why? Get off here, horse, and come on in. Your partner, wasn't he? It? it was more than that. Don't you think you'd better tell me how this happened? I can't tell you. I just came back with our horses and found them. Like that. How long were you away with those horses? Quite a while. They broke away just after we made camp. Oh. Let me see. You said your name was, uh... Jim Wright. Did you ever work for a horse outfit? Yes, I did, but what's that got to do with it? Seems to me you would have hobbled those horses unless, uh... Unless what? Never mind. Where's your gun? I guess it's still in the bag. One cartridge fired. That's circumstantial evidence. That's common sense. Everyday safety. I'll bet you carry an empty under the hammer yourself. You better save that smartness for the trial. You're under arrest. <laughs> under arrest. For losing the best pal I ever had. Your story's pretty weak. But you might make the jury believe it. You being a stranger in these parts. I don't think a jury would hang a man for being a stranger. Well, come on. What about Skeeter? I'll have him taken care of. Am I pretty bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Reckon I I won't last long. Uh, not without water, you won't. Come back, right? You can't get away. I'll see you later. Take a swig of this. How's that? Uh, I figured you'd done left me. Well, it's true I ain't got much love for you, Sheriff. But I wouldn't leave you to die any more than I would any other dumb animal. I, I'm sure obliged to you, son. But it's still my painful duty to take you in. Come on. Let's go. All right. Gee, you look 
looks like I'll have to take you in. Your partner didn't make good on that horse after all. Gil Davis brought him in. Yeah? Where is Gil Davis? Didn't say where he was heading. Got his money and dusted off for a big town blow up. The sheriff. The sheriff? Is my doctor taking care of the sheriff, too? Yes. Oh. Did he say what was wrong with the sheriff? Oh, it's quite a story. It seems a stranger shot the sheriff and left him under a tree at Boone's Ranch. And everybody's wondering who the stranger is, but of course nobody's going to find out till the sheriff can talk. Oh, I see. Did uh, the doctor say when he thought the sheriff would uh, get conversational? No, but he did say the sheriff was improving fast. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'll get up. Oh, you can't get up. Oh, but you don't know how good I feel. Oh, now... Oh, oh look out the arm. I'm sorry. Oh, he can't have that now. Mm -hmm. He ought to have a little soup. Well, I don't get a soup now. Oh, excuse me, will you all take a muscle more by the sheriff's sugar egg because 
I'll see the deputy coming down the road. Oh, now you lie quiet or you'll raise a fever. Oh, I know, but I've, I've got to be going. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, I do. Mom, was a girl. Anybody home? Well, uh, I'm going to see. Take see, please. I, I'll be right back. I won't be long. Was there a deputy out here, Ma? How do you do, Miss Alice? How do you do, Mr. Clark? Did you want to see my father? I come after that uh, bus of roses, got... Oh, Clark. How do you do, Mr. Hall? I just turned the door to here. I am after that bus of roses, got trampled on by that bad horse. Well, what do you want with him? Uh, he's charged with murdering that partner of his. Murder? That's it. Hmm. Have you seen... Oh, uh, he's gone, Dad. He left here quite a while ago. Are you sure? I saw him leave. It's only natural he wouldn't be sticking around here knowing that we're looking for him. Sheriff is sure going to be disappointed. Oh, uh, how is the sheriff? Oh, he'll be up and around in a couple of weeks. Good. Well, good day. I can't understand Dad. how... Huh? Come in the other room with me. Say, Jim, what's all this I hear about murder? Sit down, Mr. Hall. I think I can explain. You see that champion rider of yours? Stole the devil horse from Skeeter and I. He killed Skeeter and left me to get the blame. That's a pretty serious statement. You think you can prove it? Not if they put me in jail. My only chance is to get Gil Davis. Why, he's contracted to ride at my show. If what you say is so, you can prove it then. Well, if you can tolerate me until then, why, I... Oh, we can stand you. There's Zuba there with the Mrs. Jim. There you go. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Boy, you sure are generous. Yeah, but I just can't help it myself because I was born that way. My mom always told me that. Oh, you feel so good enough, so I, I reckon I'll give you a job. Ah, you see me going to put this thing up here, huh? Let me move this thing for a camera so I don't come along. Yeah. Yeah. Well, step in. Hi, John. Got the paper all up? Yes, I put it all around and I just stand up here to see if I find some other place to put some more. Where's Jim? I don't know. He's around here someplace. All right, Sheriff. How you feeling? Fine, Ben. That fellow Jim Wright anywhere around? Well, if he were around here, I reckon I'd know it. You know, he's the first prisoner ever got away from me, and he sort of spoils a good record. What's the matter with you, boy? Oh, I just shake the water. I just brush seven flies around here, too. Oh. But I come to tell you, Ben, that your show better be a crowd pleaser tomorrow. The last outfit left a bad name in this town, and they're going to be hard to satisfy. You know I always put on a good rodeo. Yes, but I can't guarantee law and order tomorrow if the folks feel cheated out of their money. Here's your big attraction. The 
crowds paying their money to see this man and this devil horse. Have you really got him? I've got the horse in the corral and the man contracted to ride him. He's right here and living up to his contract. Oh, Gil. I was just talking about you to the sheriff. Yeah. Did you ever know a fellow named of Jim Wright or his partner, Skeeter Burt? Jim Wright. Well, that name sounds familiar. Well, Colonel, wasn't he one of the two waddies that went out to catch that devil horse that yeah. I brought in? Wright claims you killed his partner and stole the horse from him. Why, well, he's a liar. Let him say that to my face. Where is he? I was bringing him in for that killing myself, but he got away from me. Oh. Gave you the runaround, eh? Well, that ought to prove to you who done the killing. If you, if you, want, if you think I done it, well, go ahead and arrest me right Come on, now. Gil. Keep your temper, or I'll have no Rodale tomorrow. I'm just telling you what Jim Wright's accusing you of. I'll think about arresting you when he shows up and proves his charges. How about that show tomorrow, Ben? Is it going on as advertised? If I don't show as advertised, I'll refund the gate money. Well, that's fair enough for me. Come on, Gil. Take a look at that devil horse you're riding tomorrow. That was close, wasn't it? I'm glad you kept your temper when he called you a liar. Well, after hearing what the sheriff said, I wouldn't let my personal affairs interfere. Thanks, Jim. But I'm warning you, after the show tomorrow, I'm taking care of my personal affairs.
expect from rain? No, sir, I just ain't taking no chance of being as I had it. Say, hey, Stephen. Sir? Let your mule out there. Oh, well, he used to work in the gym, but see, I, he ain't no more because I done trade him in. What'd you trade him for? Well, I trade him in for, for this, and the man didn't throw the old coat in with the thing to him. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. I just want to borrow it for a minute. Be right back. I know, but if I ain't got no bucket, I can't stand. And if I can't stand, I ain't gonna know when the ro Miss Jim, you better give me my job back. They took another uh, horse out. Take to ride this horse, and that is Gil Davis, world's champion bucking horse rider. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on shoot number four. Gil Davis now coming out on the devil. Well, where's Gil? I don't know. Where's Gil Davis? I don't know, Colonel. I ain't seen him. Go find him. All right. I wonder who's that girl. Why is that guy Gil Davis? Well, he'll be a Gil Davis. Boys, there's 20,000 people here paid their admission fee to see Gil Davis ride that devil horse. We can't disappoint them. Somebody must ride them. Now, who'll take the credit? 
I promised to pay their money back if I didn't show as advertised. Won't one of you help me? I'd ride him tomorrow, but I doubt if you could get anybody on him the same day he killed him. Well, I wouldn't ride him today. No use, boss. There's a jinx on him now. Bad luck all round, Colonel. Quiet well, down, fellas. You'll get that ride or you'll get your money back. Where's that hell, David? Where is Scotty? There he is now. That's that gentleman. Hello, Scotty. He's all ready. Gil Davis, coming out on the devil. Yeah, that's the devil. You want man to kill him. All right. Here he goes. I know it. Jim? Yeah, but, but a long trip. You all right, Jim? Huh? You all right? Oh, yeah, I'll be all right in a minute. Jim, I'm proud of you. Thanks, boss. Hello, Jim. Hello, Sheriff. Joe, you just leave this matter to me I'm now. I'm sorry, Ben. But Jim knows what I want him for. Come on, son. Jim. Don't worry too much. Dad's doing all he can for you. I appreciate that. But I'm afraid it won't do much good. I can't turn him loose, Ben. I'd like to oblige you, but there's no bail for murder. Why, Sheriff? My daughter expects me to get Jim right out. Now, can't you trim that down from murder to something you can take bail for? Why, you're the most disobliging old Hold on, ever. Ben. I'm letting you off easy. I suspect you've been hiding Jim right on your ranch all this time. I ought to jail you for it. Why, Sheriff, I'm a pretty interesting... You're wasting I'm my time. i got to have some rest. Hank Howard's been seen around here, and I gotta go out after him in the morning. Goodbye. Huh? Goodbye, Jim. Uh huh. Goodbye, Alice. He 
It's no use, Alice. He won't let him go. Why, Sheriff... Now, young lady, it won't do any good to beg for Jim. I won't let him out till I'm ready. Dad, we've just got to find a way to get him out. Oh, why don't you bring that guy and put him in another cell? We're packed in here like sardines now. Now listen, sober up now. Let you all out in the morning. Come on. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Put your ice water up there early, will you? Hmm. Hey, why don't you move over there? What do you want? Well, I just want to know who I've seen with the gym and give him just four sandwiches, please. All right. Thank you. Wait a minute, we'll take care of it. Well, well, I'm telling you, well, couldn't I get a seven seven there? Oh, uh, no, I didn't know. I'm freaking in. No, I wonder, oh, that's the wrong one. I'll go get one. Yeah, come here. Thank you. No, I, that's the wrong one. I just didn't want. Oh, I wonder what. I wonder what I'm looking at. I wonder who put that on somebody trying to get me in trouble. I wonder who put all that stuff on. You let me go. Get out of there. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, would you like to have a little drink? Sure. Oh, I'm dizzy. If sober enough, turn him out. All right, Sheriff. All right, Paul is waiting for you. And keep sober. Hold on there. Here's some advice. Next time we get you in here, you won't get off so easy. Mosey along and take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Sure, sure. I made a mistake. It turns out that Jim Wright. Is that so? You know, I've been thinking it over. That boy ain't guilty, or he wouldn't have done what he did yesterday, nor what he did to me when I got shot. I was just figuring how I could turn him loose, when he put it over on you. I wanted Jim to have a chance to prove his charges against Gil Davis. I don't know anybody I'd rather see Hank than that guy. We're going to be plenty busy catching Hank Howard. We'd better get him or turn in our badges. I figure Gil Davis has gone that way. But you haven't told me how you got off. Oh, you'll hear soon enough when the sheriff finds out I'm gone. Well, if anybody asks for you, I'll tell him you went the other way. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Miss Allison, Mr. Jim, said how he got out. 
kill me for not seeing you. Baby. I want to be the chef and then give him that stuff all the way. that money to anyone like you. Get in there. Money from the bank. Better ask Gil Davis. He just cracked my skull to get it. Gil Davis? Yes, Gil Davis. He took that trail leading up through the Narrows. It's the only trail that leads out of this canyon. We'll catch up with him. Get on your horse. Gone, Davis. Oh, you gotta. That's where you're going. Oh, let me down. This rope will hang me. I wouldn't be surprised if it would. Well, you better start talking. What do you mean? You know what I want to hear you say. <laughs> All right, wake me up when you get ready to talk. Oh, you have a heart. Let me down. You know, this trail's only used about once a week. And you're liable to get powerful thirsty before the third day. Oh, have a heart. I, I, let me down. I think Davis got a little speech here. He wants to speak to you. Oh, get me down. Get me down, quick. Here, speak your piece, Gil. You'll have to forget it. i am letting you down. Oi, I ain't got nothing to say. Oh, yes, you have. What? 
It was an accident. Skeeter Billy pulled a gun on me. We, we had a fight. He, the gun went off. I, I couldn't help it. It seems to me that you was mighty careful in sighting that gun before you pulled the trigger. I was at the window and saw you. Thanks, stranger. Come on, boys. Get him down. Better come down, Jim, and we'll go back and talk it over. I <laughs> know, oh, Sheriff. I ain't taking any more chances. <laughs> well, all right. Come on, boys. Let's travel. Adios, champion. Come here. Come here. Look. See the apple? What's the apple? Huh? Go ahead. Get it. Well, get it. How's that? Pretty swell, huh? Oh, gee, that's great. Oh, hello, Alice. Come on, let's go see Alice, huh? Come on. Come on, Mutt. Come on, Mutt. Hey, Mutt. Hey, Mutt. Hey, Mutt. Hey, Mutt. How in the world did you ever get him to do that? Oh, just a little kindness. But doesn't he ever bite? Well, he knows if he tries it, I'll eat the apple myself. <laughs> you know, he'd make a fine saddle horse for you. Oh, he's a darling. <laughs> You'll always be a devil. 